Hey, hey campers, Gary here from crosscamping.com looking at a new tent from a company called Quest. This is a pre-production, so there's one or two little tweaks that I'll talk about. This is from Quest Leisure and this is the Emperor Bell Tent. Now a traditional bell tent looks a bit like that one over there and this is a twin poled bell tent. Beautiful cotton canvas fabric, spec will be on our website. And what Quest have done is they've took a traditional tent. Um, all bell tents generally, uh, well I say generally, a lot of them are made out in the sort of Middle East, uh, out that sort of way. And they're very much designed for a very dry climate. And because of that, where they have the door at the front, they'll have maybe a window there but it'll be a mesh window and the curtain will be on the outside whereas what Quest have done is they've sort of thought about the more humid environment we have in our country and how we like to camp and they've put a lot of windows in where you'd have the mesh but they've overcome the mesh problem by putting full mesh doors behind them and plenty around the base which we'll see shortly few vents at the top there but being a beautiful cotton canvas uh, they're so breathable so cool so on the left hand side here we have an a-frame on the inside with a window and a zipped curtain on the inside there now the zips um, certainly some of them certainly around the base are white on this pre-production they will be black as with the mesh as with the guy ropes and these red sliders will be a cream to tie in with the tent so this is the left hand end if you want to describe it that way no door but a big PVC window around the back of the tent we have four of those vents and again they have curtains on the inside now you can't really see from here, I don't think too well in the video, but two of those, the curtains are up and two are down, which is great because it just makes it that little bit harder to see in, but when you're inside you can see out very easily. Some more big vents up on the top there where the ridge pole goes across the top. And then on the sort of left hand side, if you're looking at the front of the tent, you have a door. Now we'll talk about the combination of the door. So you have a zip down the middle, zip along the bottom. You have PVC window, PVC window, zipped curtain on the inside. And then when we go inside, I'll show you the full mesh doors that are on the inside of that. But they are fully zipped around the base. And as we come round, I'll give you an example. This may not be the finished article, but look at the size of these pegs so chunky you will get all the pegs you need and they will be chunky whether exactly that i'm not sure but they will be chunky and then there's two more vents around the base there and as i was saying about the white zip that will be a black zip so let's go inside first thing is this beautiful pvc some might say old-fashioned i say chunky it's just beautiful thick pvc ground sheet so i'm going to stand at the end of the tent that just had the window and i don't know if you can see feel how big this is uh what is it i'd have to double check the spec one two three four five it's got to be about six meters by four something like that uh, we, the spec will be in the details so there's those vents i was talking about at the back of the tent two of them we've zipped up two we've left open there's the big pvc window with the roll down curtain steel a frame one big chunky upright pole to the ridge pole and back down that's the right hand door if you're coming in through the front door which, as I say, has the solid door, has the PVC window with a curtain rolled back. This one is showing it with it zipped down and the mesh doors rolled back. The front door, I've left half of it 
sort of shut with the curtain shut and here's that mesh that I was talking about so you could roll the door right the way back have the tent fully enclosed but leaving the mesh zipped shut um, who would have this tent I would have this tent and that's just me and the wife um, but you know a family a group and for the quality the fabrics uh, you know the price is really really good now it's not the lightest bit of kit in the world um, I would imagine this comes in two bags um, yeah I would imagine the poles and the PVC ground sheet probably in one bag the fabric in in another I'm loving this as with a lot of bell tents there are toggles dotted around on this vertical wall which is probably what one foot maybe 18 inches high something like that and that means you can actually unzip it all the way around roll the whole tent panels up so you're left with just like a big top fabric and as if the tent is floating above the ground we'll probably get a video of that on one of the smaller bell tents just to show you how it how it works and height wise well yeah okay so i'm reaching up to a hanging point uh and i'm five foot ten and i'm reaching up as high as i can there's still probably another meter above that another three foot above there i'm going back to feet and inches aren't i must be all this brexit talk so big big emperor bell tent so that's gary from crosscamping.com in fact look over there quickly chaps just rolling up around the sides just to show you so this is Gary from crosscamping.com come the spring 2019 we'll have these on show so you can come down and have a look at them nothing better than getting inside these things especially on a hot day uh, you'll really appreciate the how lovely and comfortable they are inside so all the spec will be on our website crosscamping.com uh, should be a link somewhere in the video probably top right hand corner something like that coming up about now and um, we look forward to seeing you cheers